Yes, so five seabirds have been added to the UK's red list of birds most in need of conservation. So joining the likes of endangered species like the puffin. And one of the birds that's been added is the great black-backed gull. In 1998, there were 80 breeding pairs of the gulls in Jersey. Fast forward to 2021, and that number's up to 105. So it seems our gulls aren't doing so bad. In terms of why that is, experts weren't too sure. It could be down to food sources, habitats, or the weather, we probably do need a bit more research on this. But as it happens, actually, environmentalists in Jersey, Guernsey and France are looking at the seabirds and other animals that use our waters across the bailiwicks and doing some research to see how they're all doing. So we may well get some more information on the gulls when they publish their findings later on. So that is one to stay tuned on. Yeah. Yes, there definitely was, but quite different scenes now. You can see behind me, the skies have cleared slightly. We did have heavy showers earlier, around six millimetres of rain, some thunder too. It is looking rather unsettled for the weekend. We may have sunshine one minute and some heavier showers the next. So probably still a good idea to keep the umbrella with you just in case. But let's get all the details now. Here's your full weather forecast. Well, things are clearing up and drying up nicely after a rather gloomy picture earlier today with some blustery conditions as well. But in terms of what's in store over the next few days, well, we will get some respite tomorrow, though the weather on the whole is staying rather unsettled. So we can expect the return of some cloud and some wet weather too. But as well, some sunny periods, like I said, tomorrow looking like a brighter and drier day overall. This morning, though, if we take a look at the satellite, you can see we did have some quite heavy showers. Got to a fresh force five at times in, Ald in Alderney, and there was some thunder there as well. Much of the wet weather, though, has now cleared away. So tonight we will have some clear periods. The winds are light and variable, and there's just a small chance of a shower, but we aren't expecting quite as much in the way of wet weather tonight compared to what we've had today. And minimum temperatures of around 12 and 13 degrees. So as I said, tomorrow looking like a much drier day overall. We can expect some bright conditions and some sunshine, particularly in the morning. The winds are light coming from a southerly direction, so just feeding in slightly warmer air. So we can expect temperatures to be a touch up tomorrow with highs of 20 to 21 degrees. And later on in the afternoon, we may well notice cloud just creeping in once again. So a greyer end of the day and the small chance of some patchy rain and drizzle as well later on. Let's get our times of high water then between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. Later on between 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. And the sea temperature is now at 18.9 degrees. So let's do a roundup as a, of our week as a whole. Some dry conditions tomorrow, all still unsettled on the weekend. We can expect some showers, but we can expect some bright conditions and sunshine as well. Hello there, very good morning to you. Well, we can expect some drier and brighter conditions overall today. We should have more in the way of sunshine and a light breeze coming from a southerly direction, feeding in slightly warmer air. So temperatures a touch up on yesterday with highs of around 20 to 21 degrees, getting a touch cloudy into late afternoon though.